This is the Mr. Heater Base Camp. It's a little water heater that runs on a spin-on propane tank. Now, I brought my Coleman water tank here. It holds five gallons and the uh, water pump that comes with the heater doesn't screw onto it. So thankfully I happen to have this five gallon Lowe's bucket that also doubles as a crapper. I use it for my luggable loo and trust me it's quite clean. I use a plastic bag lined with kitty litter so I'm not going to take a bath in sewer water. This is the pump. It's got a screw-on connector which of course doesn't fit my Coleman water tank. But not to worry. Just drop her in the in the old uh, water bucket there and when we turn this thing on it'll suck the water up put it out through a shower head. You can see a couple temperatures here it's about 43 degrees going in 43 degrees coming out. This knob controls the water temperature on the output I got her set pretty much wide open. When I start it up I'm going to recycle the water. There's a little spigot here for washing dishes. This is kind of cute. So uh, I'm just going to pour that water right back into the bucket as it comes out, suck it back up, run it through a few cycles and get that water up to temperature because it's not going to want to come up to temperature too fast today, not when it's 35 degrees out and the water temperature is 43 to begin with. There you can see the connections. I got an extra wire here. This one is the power cable. It has a rechargeable battery pack, but I'm right next to the pedestal, so what the hell, I might as well use the free power, charge the batteries in the process. There's the spin-on one-pound Coleman tank, which should last for quite a while. That yellow connector, that's where the water goes in when it sucks the water up. Okay, as we look at the front panel here, I got her turned on. There's a glowing flame symbol on the left side, just showing that uh, we have ignition. Zoom in here just a little bit. The water temperature is starting to rise. I'm seeing, it's a little hard to see on the panel here, water temperature 76 degrees and climbing. We're up to about 58 degrees inside the bucket of water. Because like I said, I'm recircling that water. It goes about 8 tenths of a gallon per minute. So we just keep pumping hot water in, sucking it back up, warming it up some more, dumping it back out. We'll get her up to temperature here pretty quick. And then I'm going to connect the shower head and actually take a shower. I don't think there's anybody around. so. I'll give her a try here in a minute. Okay, I'm going to try to shield a little of the light so that you can see. We're up to 91 degrees. we got 77 degrees in the bucket. Yeah, jumped up to 92 degrees already, so it's, it's heating the water and recirculating it. Looks like it's going to take it a few minutes to get up the temperature. You can probably hear the flame making some funny noises. It uh, automatically cycles its uh, fuel off and on and ignites it. You don't have to do any work. We're up to 95 degrees, so 96. Alrighty, well I think it's about time to look for that bath towel and get her going here.